This episode of Comic Kids is brought to you by Fat Collectibles, Orange County's premier destination for comics and collectibles. Welcome to Collection Welcome to Connections, Connections Comic Kids. Kids! I am Miles Spoiler Alert, and... I am Glenn... nothing. <laughs> and this Angels. is Juliet. Juice. Say hi. <laughs> two comics. One is Care Bears Unlock the Magic, which is about a bad guy that wants to make the Care Bears feel bad about themselves. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. They won't let him. They don't. <laughs> they don't let him. So what was your favorite art page? My favorite art page was... It was page number seven. If you count front and back, you can find it. It's this one. I liked it because it is very fun and colorful. And so I would give Care Bears Unlock the Magic a four out of five because I like the story. But I don't like love it. I'm not gonna go on the rooftop and scream. I love cameras. You should go get camera. It was okay, it was pretty good. I liked it. A few moments later. The art from a scale of one to five was like a three. Cause it wasn't the best art, but it's still cartoony and nice, but they didn't just draw squigglies and call it something. Like, if there's a crowd, they don't just, like, make lines and color it in gray. Um, on a scale of 1 to 5, the fun factor was probably a 4 out of 5, because it was, it was pretty fun. But it wasn't like, that was the best story I ever had. It was so fun. I'm going to go buy 15 million of them just so I can have them all in my house because it was so fun. Like this. It was. Mom. Mom. <laughs> it was pretty Mom. fun. Later. The book that I read, or the comic book, in fact, I read was Spider-Man and Venom Double Trouble. And I've got to say my favorite art page was the cover because it shows all this cool art. Like, you show Spider-Man and Venom, and it looks awesome, but it kind of duped me because, like, I'm like, oh. It's going to be an awesome colored book, and then I get to, let's see, I get to the first page, and it's all kid colored. It's like kid art. So, it covers probably my favorite page because of the artwork compared to all the kid artwork that's in the first few pages and the rest of the book. Um, the story was pretty nice. On a scale, I would rate it a 4 out of 5 because it was a good story, but it doesn't complete it. Like, you need two comics, but I understand that. Um, the story is it's cool because it has, like, try, it's like Spider-Man trying to give Venom cool, like, good and then yeah it just stops pretty much there so the fun factor that i had reading this was a three out of five because i personally thought it was gonna be cool artwork and it wasn't so that kind of degraded the fun factor i had because i was like oh it's not cool art the story i want to say was a four out of five which i think i've already said so and and the art i want to say was a 2 out of 5 because the only like interesting art page to me was the cover and then it shows a bunch of like kid colored like kid art throughout the rest. The cost of this book was $3.99. I'd say it's a pretty good book to buy. Now I have DuckTale, Silence, and Science. Oh my, I'm opening it. <laughs> 
Eventually. It was about, they were like going to a comic convention with like their favorite TV show characters and stuff. And um, they got stuck in traffic because it was also a Froyo convention going, going on in the story. And Froyo was like all the rage, I guess. And um, so they had to go through like obstacles trying to get to the convention. And yeah, that's what the story was about. Oh. On a scale of one to five, I would give it a a four to five. It was it was cool. Action packed. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. My favorite art page. I didn't really have a favorite art page, but I like the cover the most. Art on a scale from one to five for me would be a three. Bye. Bye. Because it's not that, well, it's not that good, but it's not horrible. It's not a two like Miles would say. Because that's what DuckTales is. It's like a cartoon. It's supposed to be like that. Actually, no, I'm changing my rate. I'm going to give it a four out of five. 20 minutes later. I think it was really fun and, oh, she got it dirty. Uh, exciting. It's really fun. I would rate it a a four out of five because, like I said, with the Care Bears, oh. I'm not gonna scream. You should all get DuckTales, Silence and Science because it's so awesome and amazing. And uh... like, if I was reading it and somebody asked me, "Oh, how'd you like that book?" I would say, "Oh, yeah, it's pretty good. It's you should get it. I like it. He's <laughs> so cute." Two hours later. Next week, I will be bringing. I will be reviewing to you guys how I thought Teen Titans Go. Um, doing it, next week, are we? it doesn't really Go. have any. It doesn't really have a title other than Teen Titans Go. Um, it's one hundred page, so it's gonna take me a while to do, and it has eight stories, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh. Our mission is to show you guys how we like the comics so you guys can know. We think it's important that kids see how fun it is to read comics so that they can go and read them themselves. For Collection Connection, For collection connection comic, comic Kids, yeah. I'm Miles Spoiler Alert. And I'm Gwen Nothing Alert, I guess. I don't and this know. Is we don't have yet. a name for me. Yeah. We'll see you next week. This one.